Okay, in this demonstration, we're going to look at plate resonance. Uh, I have a square metal plate attached to a loudspeaker driver and a sine wave generator. And what we're going to do is send some frequencies through this and sprinkle sand on the top of the plate and we'll see the sand lock into the nodes of the standing waves that or the resonant frequencies of the plate. Uh, this translates pretty well into room resonance as well. If you were to take uh, a three-dimensional room with parallel walls, you could also find similar standing waves to the ones that we'll see on the top of this plate. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is put some sand here on the top of the plate. And the fundamental resonance here is 95 hertz. And I'll bring up the amplitude of 95 hertz. And you can see what happens is the sand travels into the nodes of the standing wave. So we found a resonant frequency of this plate where our anti-node is here in the middle and here at the corners. And the nodes follow this, this pattern around the room or the plate. This happens in rooms as well. Parallel walls in, in three-dimensional spaces can cause standing waves like this as well. If you were to walk in a room like this and go into this node, the amplitude would decrease dramatically to the point where you almost wouldn't be able to hear it. Whereas if you were here in the middle of the room, it would sound unnaturally loud. Just like with the string, we can get multiple frequencies to resonate here called harmonics. So I can go to our next harmonic here, and our sand will lock into a new pattern. So now we have a circular node here in the middle, and then new nodes here in the corners. I'll go to our next harmonic. And our next harmonic. So again, everywhere that you're seeing the sand collect is a node of this standing wave. Next harmonic. And the next one. And the next one. 